Hello guys, in this video we'll learn about file upload in Rust and we'll try to create a file upload endpoint in Rust to upload our files or attachment to our server. Now if you have worked on a production grade application, you must have heard about a use case where you want to upload attachments or files to your server and then process them. For example, be it the documents like PDF, Word file, Excel sheet or images you want to upload to the server and then process them so you need a file upload endpoint so let's get started we'll just create that and see how does that work so first of all we'll move to our cargo thermal file here we'll add the rocket for our web server and we'll add rocket multi multi path form data for our multi path form data for file upload and then we'll quickly build it move to our main and here We'll first of all add our async uh, handler for uploading the file. So we'll say post slash upload data. And here we'll pass the data async fn upload. So this is basically the handler for our upload. And it has a content type and a data so we'll say data and it returns a result which is a string or a std io error so we'll just return this and let's create our options so we'll say options multi path form data options with multi path data fields vector and here we'll say to accept the multi path data field which is file file and i want to restrict on size limit so we want u64 and from here I'll just pass 32 MB bytes so this is basically our options and now we'll just try to parse our content and so what I'll do here is I'll try to get all of our contents print some detail and whatever the data that we get I'll dump in a file I'll create a file and dump on my server so basically we are not connecting to any cloud storage right now it's just basic introduction to file upload so I'll just create a file uh, right here in my project whenever I get a file I'll just create a file and dump all the content so let's see so first of all we'll just here say let mutable multi part or multi form data is equals to multi part form data and we'll say parse here we'll pass content type data options unwrap or first let's await and unwrap and then we'll just say let file multi path form data dot get or dot files dot get so basically i just want to process one file because i know i'll be sending one file in each request but if you want to send multiple fields with multiple files you can and then you process all of them not just one here so we'll say if let some file fields or yeah, file fields is equals to file so if that's the case we do something otherwise we just return an error saying std io error new and we'll pass the error kind which be other and we'll return some text which is upload field 
so now let's go ahead and here we'll do some processing with our file that's uploaded so first of all we'll say let file field and file fields and we'll get the zeroth and we'll say let file name file field dot file name similarly i'll copy paste this to get the content type so we'll say content type and dot content type so let's go ahead and print these so we'll say file name so this is the file name that is uploaded from your client site so we'll just say file name similarly we'll say content type and once we have these both the third thing that we'll do is we'll create a file in the same directory on our server and to just show you guys that the file that we upload we get on the server as well so we'll keep the name of the file that we'll create on the server same as the name up uploaded from the client side and here we'll just say let path and file field dot path and let mutable temp file and open this and then we'll add a mutable buffer file dot read to end and mutable buffer and then we'll just say file that we just created on the server dot write all and then we'll just pass the buffer once we have all of that done we'll just say return okay file and description or file processed so let's go ahead and run this so what we have done is actually we cannot run right now we need one more thing here which is to spin up our web server so what I'll do here is add launch rocket and rocket dot build mount and slash routes and here we'll pass our upload route at this and then we'll refer to our upload route so this is all that we need to spin up our web server and this is to get a file and store it in the current directory now as you can see currently i don't have any file so let's go ahead and run our application so for that we'll quickly open the terminal and here we'll do cargo run dash dash white okay as you can see our web server is been up on port 1000 by default and it has a slash upload endpoint so let's get to our favorite testing tool so i'll be again using insomnia i'll go to here a new http request it's http localhost 8000 slash upload body and here we'll select multi-part form in the data we'll have to add a file so we'll attach in a minute here we'll name it as a file the same to the name that we are processing on the server so let's attach a file 
okay so as you guys can see i have attached the file you can just go ahead and attach any tech.txt file any type of file because we are not restricted by any types right now so you can just attach any file and press send okay it's a get we have a post endpoint okay so as you can see it says 200 okay and file processed so let's go ahead and check if our file is correctly uploaded so back to our id and here you can see first of all in the in the logs here it says we hit a request and the file name is dump.txt and the content type is text plain 200 ok status code and if we go to our project explorer as you can see there is a file created dump.txt we open that file and it's the same content which was in my file from the client side so that's how we can upload file now here instead of writing it to the current directory you can upload to cloud and which will also uh, i'll create a video on that on how to upload on s3 or any other file storage but for now i just wanted to show you guys how to upload a file so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand the concept if you do share with your friends subscribe to the channel like the video i'll catch you guys in the next video